Yeah, the Bruce Trail, the idea of doing the Bruce Trail was really, um, Kilimanjaro was such a high for me. It, uh, it, you know, we had a team of six and we all made it up the hill. And um, I thought, well, you know, what am I going to do, um, you know, to follow up on that and, and to tell another story? And, uh, and the idea of Bruce Trail came along and um, I hadn't never even been on the Bruce Trail before. Love walking, though. I, I find it such a, a meditative uh, thing that um, I loved. And so I did all the research and, uh, you know, it's, it's basically 900 kilometers and um, uh, they say it can be done in 30 days if you do 30 kilometers a day. So I began training for it and looking and getting the maps and, and uh, looking at it. But the interesting thing is, is that uh, it represents a challenge. And so for these 30 days, I'm kind of pushing myself to the biggest challenge I've ever done uh, in um, kind of my backyard. Um, but it's really good because um, I think uh, at times, getting out of your comfort zone and uh, gets us really in touch with some of the uh, real life issues that our uh, people experience in other countries. And, uh, and so um, I love this idea of thinking and even praying for a lot of our friends uh, in the developing world um, and, and identifying with, you know, everything I'm, uh, that I'm living on is in my pack. And uh, I've got, uh, you know, a few pounds of food and um, I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, and so there's this thing that um, really helps us understand uh, that perhaps life is fragile. Perhaps life is uh, pretty exciting. Perhaps I enjoy the simplest things by uh, just some uh, simple breakfast and lunch that I bring with me and the water that I have. And so um, the Bruce's Trail has been like a tremendous high for me. And, um, you know, uh, for those of you who um, might be interested, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, there's some amazing uh, sections of Canada. It's about 30 different conservation areas and a thousand different, uh, I think it's a thousand different landowners that give you the right to walk through their lands. And, um, and so I've learned... You know, I've lived in Ontario for 70 years and there's so many things I'm learning from it. But I'm really learning that you, know, you have to overcome. Uh, you, there are seasons when it's good to just learn to overcome. And um, I'm excited about other people who are doing things during this time um, and uh, I'm wanting to hear their stories of what they've learned as well. Bless you. Did a bit of a face plant here on the trail, uh, a little tiny rock sticking up about two inches. And I banged my head, <laughs> kind of saw some stars there for a while. But anyway, I um, had a break, had some food, and I'm um, going to get at her and try to even pay more attention to where I'm walking. Okay, bless you guys.